on May the 10th in Helsinki. Uh, SmackDown Live is coming here after 10 years, uh, after 10 year absence, and and uh, they they chose me uh, to be their, um, I guess, domestic. Uh, how could you say it's like uh, emissary? Okay. So, you know, I'm pretty much I'm the uh, I'm the guy here in Finland. I mean, if you're gonna do something with pro wrestling in this country. Um, I'm pretty much the guy to do to 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 go through. You're the so, Ludwig Borg of today. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm you know I hate to be brash, but I'm more than the Ludwig Borg of today. I mean, it's like Tony Holmey's career was seven years, mine's been 25. Now there's a difference. Was he considered a babyface in Finland? Well, yeah, to to some degree, I would say so. Um, I think that Tony was. I mean, he was outspoken. I mean, he was kind of like a, he was kind of like the anti-hero here because the thing is yeah. that he was, he he was kind of like uh, so brash in his statements and he was so arrogant in the way that his, uh, his entire shtick, he went about it, that he rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. But by the same token, he was so big and so intimidating that it's like, you know, you, you just wanted to like the guy. So there was something about him that like resonated, especially with the Finns, with the Finnish people. And, uh, that said, mm, I think that his star appeal here in Finland, uh, it didn't translate all that like strongly when he was with Vince as Ludwig Borga. Because the thing is that, like, first of all, when when has Finland ever been uh, a global threat? Like, let's say Russia, like never, right? Right. So you you got a heel from Finland who's talking partially in Finnish and trying to, you know, get heat. And, you know, so why should people hate this guy? They don't even know what Finland is. They're like, is Finland somewhere like, uh, you know, they think it's somewhere like near Iceland or something. You know, at least in the States, that's the general sentiment. People don't know their geography. So, right. yeah, anyway, but Tony, Tony's charisma was more so like a Finnish thing. He, he was really more popular with the Finns. Uh, and, and the Finnish contingent than with, let's say, the American, North American mindset. So even in, in Japan, I mean, he was fairly popular there for New Japan, but he was never on the level of, you know, the Dr. Deaths or, or people like that as far as the Gaijin talents go. He never transcended that to that point. Right. And he also had that one uh, UFC fight against Randy Couture, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, in the that. early days. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That was pretty. Uh, that was pretty interesting. I think Rick Bassman booked him in that. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Because yeah. I remember he had that reputation as a big time boxer, but I guess maybe the MMA uh, he he didn't quite get the grappling aspect of it. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, he was more like a slugger. You know, I think that Tony. I mean, the thing is, he he really wasn't like per se a boxer either. You know. I mean, he just put on a pair of gloves and just started swinging at the fences. Right. That's, that's, that's like legitimately what he did. I mean, he's any he, people in Finland to this day, they, I mean, they don't hold him to be a boxer. I mean, he did sell out the old Helsinki ice hall twice as, you know, as a boxer in the main event, but he wasn't a boxer. <laughs> 